guys, it's Juju6 here, and, um, since I don't really, I mean, I have ideas what I want to do for, um, reviewing, like, newer albums that just came out recently, um, but I'm not going to do them right now, or anytime soon, just because I decided I wanted to get this album review out of the way, and it's kind of, I guess, not really a classic album review, but more of a non-recent album, which is Mayday Parade's second album, Anywhere But Here, and this was released in, 2000, on 2000, in 2009 on Fearless Records, and, um, yeah. So, this album, the track list, for this album, the track listing is Kids in Love, Anywhere But Here, The Silence, Still Breathing, Bruised and Scarred, if you can't live without me, why aren't you dead yet? Save your heart, get up, center of attention, I swear this time I mean it, and the end. Um, now this album, um, was pretty good for a Mayday Parade album, but it's definitely my least favorite. Not that I hate this album at all, but it's just, it's kind of missing a little something. Um, with the first album without that other singer, Jason, who was on the first album, Lessons, Lessons in Romantic, um, he added a lot more in the first album Jason did, but in the their newer album, the self-titled, I feel like the songs are more real, they're more meaningful, they're more diverse, they kind of seem to grow more with that new release, which is why it's my favorite album, but this album, they kind of seem to be stuck in a little bit of a rut. I still love most of the songs on this album, but it just wasn't my favorite. Um, a lot of the songs were catchy, but they were kind of like, I already heard them before kind of songs, so some of the songs I just kind of didn't like. I thought they were like dull. Like yeah, some people that wouldn't have heard this stuff before would think it's catchy and great, but to me it's just another catchy song that I've seen to hear before. And it just seemed a little empty without Jason's voice in it, but the vocals I think are still overall good. And instrumental wise everything is okay. It's not as great as the first album or their newest album, which is the third release. Um, but it's still okay, you know, this album is still good, it's still got some good positives, but it's just not one that I liked a lot, but I love Mayday Parade, so of course I was going to buy this. Um, my favorites on the album personally were, uh, Still Breathing, definitely, that one had a very interesting melody and everything. Save Your Heart, I really loved the guitar riff, well not guitar riff, kind of guitar line on the first verse kind of going in and that song kind of makes me very sad and the lyrics are like relatable and I think they're good so Save Your Heart is definitely one of my favorite songs on this album. Get Up is another one of my favorites. Very upbeat, very great. I just can dance to it all the time. And, let's see. And The End, probably, just because when I listen to that song, I love the lyrics. I, 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 it's great because I can relate to them, definitely. And the song just, it, it was really cool and it made you think about the album as a whole. So I'm really happy that that was the last song on that album. It's definitely... Probably one of my favorites, too. But those... Those th four are, like, my favorites. Um, ones that people seem to like that I would probably recommend to you that would probably be easy for you to like, especially if you're new to Mayday Parade or new to this album, you probably will like Kids in Love. They released a music video for it. It's catchy to some people. To me, I kind of thought the lyrics were a little cliche. The song was, as a whole was dull to me. But to a lot of people that are new to Mayday Parade, they might really like this song. Anyone, Anywhere But Here was an okay song for me. But again, I felt like I heard it before. But... It's still good, and like I said, again, if you're new to Mayday Parade, you'd probably definitely like that song. I believe they released a music video for that, too. And a lot of people, I noticed, 
like this song, including me, which is, I swear this time I mean it, which is just an acoustic song. It's very cute, very, like, chill, and a lot of people like it, and I definitely like it a lot, too. Um, overall, as a whole, this, like I said, this album isn't great. Again, it's my least favorite out of the three albums, just because it was missing a little bit to me and felt kind of empty. Um... But I think it's still worth buying, if, especially if you're a Mayday Parade fan. So, anyways, it's, it's a pretty good CD. Um, I'll show you the whole entire thing, too. Here's the CD itself. just says Mayday Parade. Here are the thank yous on the back of the CD. And the, the booklet. Yeah. The booklet's just lyrics. And then on the back, it has the front cover again, and then, like, a picture of the band. Um, and that's really it for the CD-wise. But, like I said, if you haven't heard of this album and you're into, like, pop rock kind of music, check this out. Um, if you're new to Mayday Parade but are interested, check it out anyways. It's, like I said, it's still a great album, and I just wanted to finish the all of the Mayday Parade albums because I reviewed the first one which I'll link down below in the description and I reviewed the self-titled album and I'll put that down in the description too although that album review is kind of bad so turn up your volume on it because like I said my mic during the time I did that video is really bad but I'll put the links down below of those the other two Mayday Parade albums um stuff that's coming up I I have a job now, so I'm going to be getting paid, and I'm probably going to be buying a lot more 2012 albums. But I plan on reviewing the band that I saw um, at that concert in Firehouse 13, Aristo. I'm planning on reviewing their EP at some time, and hopefully the band will check it out. Um, I also plan on reviewing the Rocket Summers album that came out last month. And, um... Other stuff like that, and I'll definitely keep everyone updated with that. But, um, until next time, guys, see you later.